Good afternoon, one and all. Myself, Guru Raj Amech, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Civil Engineering, MIT Mysore. So in today's class, we are going to discuss something about a new concept that is completely related to the exposure of civil engineering field, I can say, or one of the uh, finest way of civil engineering, I can say, that is how to maintain the buildings. Because construction of building is one task, but to maintain that building is one of the tedious and one of the most difficult tasks, I can say. Because construction, it doesn't require any that much of uh, prior requisites or the plannings. Of course, with respect to their preparation, we have some plannings. But we may not get that much of difficulties once we are going to maintain that particular thing. For example, uh, uh, development of that product will be so easy. But maintaining that product, that is very, very important. Similarly, construction of building is one aspect that requires some efforts, of course, no doubt. Okay? But to maintain or after construction, we have to maintain that building, that is very, very important task. So what are all the things or what are all the problems we are going to face in the buildings? Because buildings are the main important parameters for human beings, I can say. It's one of the most important thing, I can say. Okay, we should not supposed to call it as thing exactly, because it's a more, um, uh, what we can say is that the important uh, involvement, I can say, okay, for human beings, their day-to-day -day activities, okay, of course, whatever the food we are going to give priority, of course, shelters is also going to give the same priority, I can say. So, in that constraints, in today's class, we are going to discuss something about uh, completely practical oriented subject called the design concepts of building services. Okay, actually this is an elective subject, right? <coughs> As we know, each subject consists of five models. <coughs> Once again, in this case also, we have five models. The entire building services is divided into five models. Uh, before going to start with discussing something about their modules, first we will discuss what is the individual involvement of this, these parameters with respect to the subject I can say. Okay, so coming to the design concepts of building services, right? Of course, the design is nothing but this is the whole phenomenon or it includes some analysis portions, it includes some statistical data, collection of data, I can say. Then after collecting those data, we, we have to substitute those data in somewhere else so that we can get some other alternative arrangements or we'll get some solutions from that by applying our basic knowledge, some mathematical logics some science, technology, etc, etc, I can say. So, that the entire phenomenon or process, we can call it as simply as design. Design of buildings, design of motor, motorbike, yes or no? It requires collection of data, analysis of data, statistical orientations, then putting those things in a definite formulas or some uh, thumb rules and getting some other answers, some alternative solutions, I can say. That entire process, we can call it as simply design. Then design concepts. Of course, here we are going to use these types of design concepts of building services. So, to give service to the building, giving service is nothing but we have to because giving service, for example, you are going to uh, give a service of your vehicle, okay, in uh, particular industry or some somewhere else I can say. If you are going to keep, I mean, if you are going to leave that thing as a service, that indicates what? At any cost that whatever the problems you are going to face right now, that must be going to be overcome. That is nothing but giving services, right? Yes or no? For example, giving services to your motorbikes, that indicates what? What are the problems we are going to face during those days? It has to be overcome. Giving services to industry, giving services to academic academicians, I can say. That indicates what? What are all the problems they are going to face or what are the confusions they have in their mind at the time of executing some parameters or some procedures? you have to give proper solutions for those problems. That is nothing but giving a very good service, I can say. So here in this subject, we are going to study what are all the concepts are there to design. Yes or no? So to design, what are all, I mean, what are all the concepts I need to concentrate for better service of the buildings? Yes or no? So what, first we need to come across what are all the problems are there in buildings. Then how to give remedies for that? That is nothing but in terms of solutions, I can so, by keeping all these parameters in mind, so the university has set five models. So, module one completely deals with water supply, drainage and solid waste disposals. Nowadays, everyone is facing uh, difficult tasks to manage 
the drainage as well as solid waste, ma as waste management systems I can say. Even you can take any industries, organizations, hospitals, mega structures, shopping malls. You can take any examples. It might be recreation centers, it might be a industrial centers, as a sectors I can say, it might be a institutional sectors I can say. Everyone is pro getting a problem that how to manage the waste. Even in household waste also, it's too difficult to manage. Yes or no? So that's why in this first model, we are going to discuss in detail about water supply, drainage and solid waste disposal. First, we'll discuss one by one. Water supply, of course, water supply system is one of the most important thing I can say. Yes, without water, of course, survivability is too difficult, I can say. Yes, of course, we have to provide uh, good quality of water, water to the residential systems as well as for other purpose also we want a good quality of water no doubt it should be a potable water i can say so in this module we are going to discuss something about water supply so how the water should be what are all the basic qualities of waters what are all the impurities are there in water that we are going to study in detail and what are all the tests are there to be conduct on water to make it pure or to make it drinkable i can say so these many parameters we are going to discuss in water supply portions Yes, then what about the types of uh, taps we need to prefer for buildings? Yes, it depends upon the intensity, depends upon the uh, inflow, we are going to decide what should be the capacity of the tanks. Depends upon that, we are going to decide what should be the diameter of the pipe we need to prefer, whether it is a residential purpose or institutional purpose or some industrial purpose. Depends upon the nature of building, water supply systems will also going to vary, no doubt. Okay, So those parameters we are going to discuss in water supply concepts. Then coming to drainage. Of course, once the water is used, it's become a waste water or used water, I can say. Okay, so as we know, so if we provide 100% to some households, 80% of that water is treated as waste water. If you consume one liter, no doubt 80% of that will be treated as a waste water. Yes or no? As a, so it's of course going to be meet drainage systems. Then how to manage the drainage systems? That's that's very very important task, I can say. Nowadays, we are going to face here and there, what about the problems we are going to face at the, at the time of improper drainage systems, I can say. Yes, if rainfall takes place, of course, runoff will going to increase. Definitely, there are huge submersion takes place and they will in turn mix with the drainage. Water supply, it should not supposed to mix with our uh, drainage systems. But fortunately, it depends upon the so many systematical or unsystematical errors, I can say. We may come across that, say, that, that kind of difficulties, I can say. Then how to manage those things? That's why. In drainage systems, we are going to discuss something about how to manage the waste water. What are all the things, conveying procedures are there to uh, send that entire waste water or drainage to some other places so that we can store it at some proper location and we can treat it so that we can use it for next other purposes, I can say. Okay, for par parking, gardening purpose, cleaning purpose, etc., etc., I can say. Okay, so water supply, then drainage and solid waste disposal. Of course, in solid waste, we have come across not only the liquid parameters, I can say, it in turn met with some plastic materials, okay, then combustion materials, organic materials, inorganic materials. There are huge parameters are there which will in turn combine with liquid or water, I can say. That's treated as a solid waste, I can say. Yes or no, which is not exactly liquid in nature, I can say. Okay, so how to manage the solids? That is, that is solid waste systems which will in turn disposed by the buildings. Yes, so in that we are going to discuss something about what about what the systems are there to treat that waste water, then how to uh, uh, in turn uh, convey it to the main streams before giving that much of harmfulness to the, the rivers or the, as well as the atmosphere I can say. Because nowadays we have, we have a huge global warming con warming concepts because of heat is get liberated, excess in nature, because of all these improper or unsystematic errors caused by human beings, I can say. Yes or no? So then, that's why in this whole chapter, we are going to discuss something about how to utilize the water supply, then how to convey that water supply to buildings, more or residential buildings, then after coming, uh, it is treated as a drainage, then how to dispose it without giving any harmfulness towards the building or structure, how to utilize that entire process within the system, system is your, the concepts or in detail investigation about module 1 okay then module 2 says something about heat ventilation and air conditioning of course in short form we can call it as hvac 
okay that indicates heat ventilation and air conditioning so the name itself says heat ventilation nowadays everyone thinking about yes the building must be located in such a way that there should be very good light and ventilation should be there yes or no so there should be a very good light and ventilation should be there means what we have to maintain the parameters initial requirement of the buildings yes or no so in ventilations there are of course two kinds one is artificial ventilations and natural ventilations okay so natural ventilations of course there are so many techniques are there artificial ventila ventilators of course ventilation process there are so many uh, products are there to make that entire uh, room or component or compartment should be cool in nature so these are all the basic parameters or the basic things we are going to come across in the residential buildings no doubt so how first we are going to discuss something about heat ventilation first we need to concentrate heat why the heat is get liberated that we have to concentrate more heat is get liberated because of global warming i can say yes the temperature which is going to rise at some extent right we should not supposed to maintain i mean make it remains same or we should not supposed to uh, have that uh, heated places for residential purpose i can say yes so we need to make that ventilated that means what we need to minimize the heat get liberated in that particular area that process we can have heat ventilation process how to minimize that global warming concept, warming concept or how to minimize the temperature of that particular component of the building or comp compartment of the buildings then at the same time along with the heat ventilations of course we are going to decide what should be their effects then on what way we are going to overcome from that everything we are going to discuss in detail in our uh, heat ventilation process i can say then at the same time we are going to concentrate on air conditioning yes of course air conditioning is that of course once again air condition process we can have two types natural and artificial i can say yes so what are all the products are there to make that entire air is under stable i can say yes so in detail we are going to discuss something about air conditioning systems what are all the uh, uh, products are there within that how to make that uh, atmosphere should be clean in nature atmosphere should be free from uh, the dust particles okay something like that we are going to discuss in air conditioning process okay then coming to model 3 that says something about electrical and fire fighting services as we know electrical and fire fighting nowadays everyone thinking about yes the building should be fire proof yes if any disasters takes place right, right? it might be of man made disasters or uh, natural disasters i can say if any disasters takes place the building must of course we should not supposed to have there is no uh, structure which will in turn uh, resist the entire fire yes sir, because that, that, that buildings or building compounds have their own limitations up to certain stage if it resist that fire or any variations within the buildings so that the death sentences within the buildings should be minimum as possible i can say so for that purpose we need to provide the fire fighting as well as electrical system in such a way that it should be giving a proper uh, basic requirements to the buildings that's why being a civil engineer it's our foremost important thing that we need to provide the electrical systems in such a way that there should be no any enough wastage of materials takes place or there is no any enough uh, arrangements of electrical systems within the uh, residential building i can say so we need to keeping all these things parameters we are going to provide a suitable electrical systems and what are all the alternative currents are there in within the buildings we need to come across direct current systems how they are going to flow from place to place how to manage the things how to uh, have, uh, what you can say give it in a series of connections it 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 something that that parameters we are going to discuss something in electrical systems as well as fire fighting services nowadays every one thinking that we have to provide a uh, fire proof buildings of course 100% i can't but at some extent we can provide that much of that parameter is in our mind while designing the buildings or at the time of construction of a building even though after construction if fire catches or if any anything takes place then how to overcome that fire fighting process for that once again we need to come across <coughs> suitable methods to fight against fire how to minimize it how to minimize the effect of that particular fire that point we are going to discuss in detail in your third module then coming to the fourth one <coughs> plumbing and fire fighting layout of a simple buildings so the name itself says 
plumbing plumbing is nothing but giving a suitable water supply and sanitary systems to the buildings for that we need to concentrate the conveying procedures what are all the uh, parameters are there in buildings what are all the basic for example we come across some ha rain water harvesting systems how to for example because nowadays getting uh, rainfall is comparatively minimum i can say and moreover at this uh, at the same time directly we should not supposed to have or drink the rain water because it in turn consists of some acids that's why we need to store it in such a place or such a way that there should be free from any other bacteriological parameters or any harmful bacteria which will be present on that particular uh, water okay so for that rain water and say water harvesting system what are all the precautions to be taken while giving a proper connection to the buildings or conveying those entire water which will be accumulated throughout the entire area then how we are going to transfer that water to some other tanks storage reservoir i can say storage tanks then how to construct that tanks yes so these many parameters we are going to discuss something in rain water harvesting systems okay of course plumbing is nothing but one of the continued part of that i can say okay how to give that water supply systems to the building yes then after using that particular water of course the waste water will get generated yes 80% of the water supply is treated as waste water then we need to convey that waste water into a proper procedure otherwise uh, it will create some odor or smell or irritations or nuisance to the building buildings or building components i can say that's why we need to transfer those things in a proper manner that part we are going to discuss in detail in our plumbing process yes and fire fighting fire fighting of course in model 3 we have discussed something about the fire fighting services what are all the things we are going to incorporate okay in next part we are going to have a continuation of that that is fire fighting services or fire fighting to the buildings what about the location of uh, the fire fighting uh, products we need to keep it yes that entire parameters we are going to discuss in fourth module then coming to the last one model 5 says something about engineering services and building maintenance right so here this concept is a broader sense in nature i can say and it will in turn consists of uh, vast field i can say because engineering services and building maintain because maintaining building is a huge task construction of building is one task but maintaining that building by taking all the requirements of the basic uh, buildings is one of the major task i can say that's why first we need to understand the engineering services for example according to nba national building code it suggests these many parameters must be present in building this this is what the behavior of the buildings or building components should be there then what about the grade of concrete we need to use what about the grade of steel we need to use what about the uh, uh, materials we are going to procure for the buildings everything is predefined and we need to work accordingly yes or no that's that's nothing but the engineering, engineering services from national building code nbc that part we are going to discuss in our model 5 and at the same time maintaining that building building maintenance is nowadays as a huge task for example if you observe some industries of around uh, 10 20 years back the industry was constructed of course so after 20 years or 30 years or 40 years it may not remain same it requires continuous maintenance i can say some failure of components may executes then how to overcome without disturbing the building yes or no that's nothing but your retrofitting concepts i can say there are so too many so many parameters are there which come across building maintenance yes so that part we are going to discuss in detail in our fifth module so all together in this subject we are going to discuss something about the design concepts of building services to make the building should be good in nature and it must satisfy the basic requirements to make that building should be safe and it must satisfy the basic requirement we have to come across some concepts what are all those concepts the first one is water supply it should be a proper drainage systems it should be a proper electrical layout it should be a proper fire fighting services it must consists of a very good heat ventilation process as well as air conditioning process i can say and all together if all these parameters are remains normal in nature remain good good in nature automatically your building is giving very good maintenance or will the building maintenance should be minimum i can say i should not supposed to take its nil maintenance should be minimum okay so these are all the basic parameters we are come across building services okay so next class we'll go to discuss something about Uh, in detail investigation of the water supply drainage and a uh, solid waste disposal process of the buildings thank you